Located close to Mashhad and having important ziyarat destinations, Nishapur is visited by people from all over the world. Some of its famous ziyarat sites are Qadamgah, the place that contains the footprint of Imam Ali Raza salam on a stone. The shrine of Bibi Shatita, a lady known to be one of the most faithful supporters of the Ahl al -Bayt and who famously sent khums and a shroud to Imam Musa Kazim salam. And Imam Zadeh Mehruq, a descendant of Imam Zainul Abidin salam, who was burnt alive. If you have travelled to Iran with ziyarat tours, chances are that you have already been to these places. There is however one shrine which is well known to the dwellers of Nishapur, but only a very few outside are aware of it. About 100 kilometers from Nishapur, after a picturesque drive, there is a village called Barzanun. And in the hills of this village is the shrine of one of the sons of Imam Zainul Abidin salam. As the cliffs get rugged, you know that you are close by. One glimpse at the parking and you realize that the place is visited by a large number of people on a daily basis and the presence of donkeys and mules is testimony to a steep climb up ahead. It was quite an experience, I must say. For the first time in my life, I had seen beasts of burden carrying people to a pilgrimage destination. Just like the good old days. You would be well advised to carry some eatables for there are no restaurants at the top. Just a couple of general stores. One of the most beautiful sights in Iran is watching children and families spend quality time at these amazing shrines. What better way to spend an outing? But the most noticeable aspect at the top was the wind. This was without doubt the windiest location that I had ever been to or filmed. Welcome to the shrine of Imam Zadeh Hussain Azhar, son of Imam Zainul Abidin Imam Zadeh Hussain Azhar was blessed with the companionship of three Imams. He was the son of Imam Zainul Abidin the brother of Imam Muhammad Baqir and the uncle as well as father-in-law of Imam Jafar Sadiq As a matter of fact, as a child, Imam Jafar Sadiq has played in the loving arms of his uncle. It is no wonder then that the sixth Imam remembered him as fondly as he remembered Hazrat Abul Fazl Abbas salam. Like all members of the Ahl al -Bayt, Imam Zadeh Hussain Azhar was a highly knowledgeable man. He has narrated thousands of traditions from his brother Imam Muhammad Baqir salam, having spent many years in his company. However, his most significant contribution to Islamic literature is his role in compiling the beautiful Sahifai Sajjadiyah along with his elder brother, the famous Zaydi Shaheed. How many of us have gained benefit from this compilation of supplications of Imam Zainul Abidin without ever knowing the names of the ones responsible for this great work? Being a nobleman and an influential figure amongst the Arabs, Imam Jafar Sadiq chose Imam Zade Hussain Azhar as a representative of the Bani Hashim in the Caliph's court. Hakim Nishapuri writes that he was a replica of his father in looks and worship and that is why he was known as Sani Zainul Abidin. In his life, he witnessed the fall of the Umayyad dynasty and the beginning of the Abbasid dynasty, both extremely hostile towards the Ahl al -Bayt. The Abbasid Caliph Mansur summoned him several times to court with the intention to imprison or kill him. But each time he let him go. When asked why, he replied that whenever he saw the face of Imam Zadeh Hussain Azhar, he saw the awe of Imam Zainul Abidin salam. He lived in a period when blasphemizing Imam Ali salam from the pulpit before every namaz was the norm all over Arabia an unholy act made compulsory by the Umayyad Caliphs that went on for 70 years. He was present in the mosque one day when the governor of Medina began blasphemizing Imam Ali Salam. 
unable to stand this gross disrespect, he got hold of the governor and slammed him face first into the ground, causing him of course to deservedly die. Imam Zadeh Hussain Asghar migrated to Iran late in his life on the advice of Imam Jafar as Sadiq. Of the five major migrations of the Sadat, he came to Iran during the period of the third major migration. He was held in very high esteem by the holy Imams. And this fact is apparent in the letter that Imam Jafar Sadiq al-Islam wrote to the ruler of Nishapur and told him to help his uncle in whatever way he could for helping him is equal to helping the Imam. He died a sad and lonely death. He was poisoned by the spies of the Caliphate and his body was thrown down the mountain. He was buried by some villagers who discovered his body four or five days later. Ever since that day, this mountain has belonged to Imam Zadeh Hussain Asghar. There is something about these shrines in the hills that just take my breath away. They may not be as grand as some of the shrines in the big cities, but the beauty lies in the location, the simplicity and most of all in the effort that is to be made to reach these heavenly locations. My message to the viewers is this, share his story with your family and friends and if you can make it, then make it to the holy shrine of Imam Zadeh Hussain Azhar. It is far, yes, you will have to come finding, yes, but then again, that is exactly what Ziyarat is all about. Salams to all.